first Witcher contract. Done. Fire Eater found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. What's going on there? Witch Hunter's been telling for that any hag with a wart on her mug is a witch. And she's to burn. Aye, pigs can fly. To me. That gingerbread's now but flour, honey, eggs and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of boulder dash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all geared from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Well, of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and just who would I be? if the true nature of things remained hidden from me. Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Charlie isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. 
Shani. I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it go. The kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now revel on. Time will wait. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance, what dreams make young blood run. Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely corporal and give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bed with its pale and pokey cheeks. Don't you mind a song we don't sing to be unkind? We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Bright's one love eternal, bright and best beware, or she'll make you a core gold in the coming year. What's the groom a thing in a storm upon his brow? Must be second guessing if you get that cow. You'll get the cow, <laughs> lad, the bull, the, the calf, the hay. So drink and be merry. <laughs> Tis your <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> oh. Whoever brought the garland shall be next to wed. Really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pen a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. A lovely custom.
Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? <laughs> what did you do to him? Said to back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. I <laughs> do
of fire. Save us from Milfgaard. <laughs> will let us go back to Mahakam. Let a plow and rest, will ya? <laughs> Seems to me I've heard of you before. Oh, mine's like you are. Never know when you're done for. My man carries his pitchfork like you. On his back. Shani mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Think I'll pass. Good mead ought to lift her spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Another fire. brandy. Shani loves the blossoms. I enjoy this as well. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. That's all I've got to say. Thing, look at me. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. Still here? I thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. You remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It, it's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit though, Thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. 
His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop... Your business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old Battleax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us menfolk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau. Even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> You only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. I don't need opportunities like that. Oh, and changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Oh, gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. So, how'd it compare? Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. <laughs> All true. 
He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds... interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Rats. Piers taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. <sighs> Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. Roll me to the moon. Got a fly to get to the moon. You're dead wrong. Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. Awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Shani, wait. Before you go, I need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. You see? Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run of the mill curse. This professional curiosity? Or nosiness, as common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. 
You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a Dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he'd turn into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt, prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaber's eager to face Olkiet von Everett, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfil three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Play out your cards.
shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Borsodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besordi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. <laughs> but my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! Shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Twas night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. <sighs> Aha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs.
could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. There was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen the purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, <sighs> didn't I? Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little uh, keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his head during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects. Girls, you thought of buying real estate. <laughs> Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vinny. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> oh. oh, smell it, Geralt. That's the scent of... Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal.
Does the Countess have her eye on anything in particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. But you've got a lovely frame. Apogee egg? White gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects sold to Madame Villepin. Dress of harky silk trimmed with amethyst beads. Well, have a starting price of two thousand crowns. Wait. Indeed. What's it been? Two years? Perhaps three? A decorative sort. We both bid on it. That's right. At that auction. All the lots were from the estate of that family. Starts with an E, Erevec. Hmm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer... I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece, the start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Duke Clavit declared bankruptcy with that ring on his finger. Shite, is it, but? Psst! The cat 
eyed one. That's Gerard of Rinby. I've heard many tales. Your grey mane really does suit you. Oh, I don't know you, and I don't wish to. Halbant! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Seen right through me. Ha! I knowed it. You don't look like one who easily agrees to a draw. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, seems I brought you together. I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, you can. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimmy. All right. Game on.
I don't buy it. You cheated, you must have, for something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Perusing the room for any and all to fleece. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend, true. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, as he shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's begging. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? <coughs> All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She had a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah. At long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. <sighs> Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. 
That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! I knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Oh, we've a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anyway? 30 going once, going twice. Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once, going twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60, the excitement. An advance on 60. 60 going once, 60 going twice. Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Roo's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm. That's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. 
gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it- What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Vidania! Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. are clear, leading to the woods. Mm -hmm. 
This little piggy ate raw and steaming human flesh. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Let me have a look. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on, 
I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Bersoni's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Wish to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars, but not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila. Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to call a bit. Too many wandering around, we could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the urban. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff. Alias Beef Patty. And a half of him. Think he's fit? Pudgy face. Doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Nova. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novagrand Gate. Be careful. He 
He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Alness. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. Tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Bought the wench pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck she repaid me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. He's Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging, now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail Melitele, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. 
Three years they bumped about under my nose, then ran off! My granddad told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters! Get down. Now. What? Oh. Coming. I'm coming. So, uh, what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door, permanently, so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland stream. See ya! You'll choke to death on three pounds. in there? Sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline. My man carries his pitchfork like you. Let's return their coin to them. What would you return? 
We've spent it all. Every last copper. Well, you could, you know, find more. Of course that's your solution. That's always your solution. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you. Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right. Out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits. So either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Me now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares, damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Troy! What? But I... Shh. Feet by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Thank you.